Hello students, welcome back. So let us start with our next chapter on Nirja Bhanut. So who was Nirja Bhanut? Let us see in this chapter. Nirja Bhanut was born on 7th September 1963 in Chandigarh. So where was she born? In Chandigarh. And on what date? 7th September 1963. She was brought up in Mumbai, but she was bought, born and repeat, but she was brought up in Mumbai. Harish Banoth, her father was a Mumbai based journalist. So her father was a Mumbai based journalist. Rana Bhanoth was her mother. So what was the name of her mother? Rama Bhanoth and her mother. And her father's name was Harish Bhanoth. Nirja was no problem child since her childhood. She went to Sacred Heart School in Chandigarh. So where did she get her education from? Sacred Heart School in Chandigarh. Her family name was Lado. Her family came to Mumbai in March 1974. She was a student of 6th standard at that time. She was admitted in Bombay Scottish High School. So when she was only a student of 6th standard, she was brought to Mumbai where she studied in Bombay Scottish High School. And then she graduated from St. Xavier's College in Mumbai. From where did she graduate students? St. Xavier's College in Mumbai. Nirja was a very sensitive girl. She had well-defined principles and there was little room for compromise and she was a very principled and she was a very principled person and there was a very little room where she compromised on all the principles she laid for herself. She had an arranged marriage in March 1985. She went to Gulf to join her husband to set up a happy home but the marriage went sour but the marriage went sour following alleged dowry pressure and she returned to her parents home in mumbai within two months so she was receiving dowry pressures from her husband so she left her husband and sour following alleged dowry pressures and she returned to her parents home in Mumbai within two months. She got a modeling contract in Mumbai. So after her divorce, she actually got a modeling contract in Mumbai. She applied for a flight attendant job in Pan Am. She was selected and went to Miami for her training. So she went Miami for her training and she applied for flight attendance job but returned as a purserer which means that she went in for the interview for and applied to become a flight attendant but eventually became a purserer. On 5th September 1986, Nirja Bhanoth was the senior flight purserer on Pan Am flight 73. So what happened on this flight we will see students. It was flying from Mumbai to United States. So this flight was flying from Mumbai to United States and it was hijacked. So what do we mean by hijacked? So there were terrorists who took over the flight and they were trying to kill people and took over the plane. So the plane was hijacked by four armed men. So. The plane was hijacked by four armed men at Karachi airport in Pakistan. The aircraft was carrying 361 passengers and 19 crew members. The terrorists wanted to fly to Cyprus and wanted to release some of their members from jail. So what was the motive of terrorists here students? That they wanted to release one of their friends or one of their terrorist friends who was there in that jail. So they hijacked this whole plane. So let's see students what happens next. How Nirja, our very courageous girl, saves them all. Nirja was absolutely calm. She was calm, she was patient and efficient through 
the horrific episode after the terrorist bombarded the plane in no time she alerted the captain so what neeja did she actually alerted the captain that the plane has been hijacked and they need to save the whole plane and the passengers who were there after the terrorist boarded the plane in no time she alerted the captain the co-pilot and first officers about the hijack and it was on her instructions they left the aircraft through an overheaded hatch in cockpit ensuring that the plane could not take off so neeja she was a very courageous person she called up and informed the pilots and the co-pilots and co-pilots and pilots they actually came to the rescue of all the passengers and the crew members who were present in that hijacked plane one terrorist had a machine gun in his hand another had a grenade and belt full of bullets so they all were armed they all were carrying carrying all the guns and grenades with them while the other had many guns and grenades everyone was told to have their hands locked around their heads two terrorists were standing in front and the other two were standing near the rear except neeja all the other flight attendants were tied up with a rope so except neeja all of them were tied in rope they all were locked the terrorists used neeja to communicate with the airlines to scare the passengers the terrorist killed a person so to scare everyone the terrorist killed a man whose name was rakesh kumar and threw him out of the plane they were targeting americans so the terrorist was specifically targeting americans right in the early minutes of the hijack they identified an american citizen dragged him to the exit and shot him dead and threw his body out of the plane so the terrorist actually killed this american and threw his body out of the plane so the terrorist actually killed this american and pulled out his body and threw his body out of the plane so this brings us to the end of the chapter students and i hope you all learned from the story of the courageous neeja who saved all the passengers who were there in that hijacked plane thank you students